Hello. Hello, I'm Rabel, coming to you live from my living room. Um, first, I just want to thank American Songwriter so much for having me. Um, it's such an honor, and this is such a bizarre and weird time, and um, I'm just so happy to be able to do this. Loud and clear. Fix my little... I don't know if I've ever played a little show before noon. Um, I'm going to play some songs and I have some questions um, from American Songwriter that I will answer. Uh, so, let's see. This song is called Newton, Texas Watching. What's up, Newton? Tampa? Oh, a bunch of my family's in Tampa. My grandma, my aunt. Um... I'm not going to write a song. Although that would be really interesting. It could be a really long stream. Um, this is called Mean It. Don't say a word if it don't come easy. Don't say a word if it is not. Don't keep it all locked up like a secret It's all I, all I ask of you Let's see a little too close for comfort Let's see a little too close to me I'll let you underneath the cover Come in, don't sleep. Love me like you mean it. Touch me like you mean it. Love me like you got something to lose. Say it like you feel it. Hold me like you need me. Love me like you got something to lose. Love, love me like you mean it. Love, love me like you mean it love, love me like you got something to prove Love, love me like you mean it love, love me like you mean it love, love me like you got something to lose Paint me a picture with your body Paint me on you like a tattoo Paint me all over, just don't hurt me Love me red out of the Love me like you mean it Touch me like you mean it Love me like you got something to prove Say it like you feel it Hold me like you need me Love me like you got something to lose And love, love me like you mean it Love, love me like you mean it Love, love me like you got something to prove Love, love me like you mean it Love, love me like you mean it Love, love me like you got something Oh, and on, even love, it'll kill one of us. It won't do, it won't do. So give me love, cause I want to have faint enough. It won't do, it won't do. So love me like you mean it. Touch me like you mean it. Love me like you got something to do. Love, love me like you mean it. Love, love me like you mean it. Love, love me like you got something to do. Love, love me like you mean it. Love, love me like you mean it. Love, love me like you got something.
Oh, hey, Aiden and Kevin. Y'all are so sweet. Um, so I have some questions in from American Songwriter. Uh, oh, thank you, Lauren. <laughs> I'm like slamming. Full disclosure, I stole this mug from my favorite studio. I tend to do that. Um, I, uh, let me read these questions. Um, you've written songs that have been cut by Kesha, Backstreet Boys, Pink, and many other artists. Do you know during the writing process which songs you're going to keep for yourself or to pitch to other artists? Do you write solo or cor oh, oh, do you write solo or co-write more often? And do you approach the two in different ways? Um, yeah, I mean, usually when I'm writing for myself, it is a different kind of thing because um, I tend to get very in my head and very like everything has to be totally perfect and and exactly the truth. And um, but oftentimes so songs that I wrote for myself. I end up pitching um, to other artists if if I can't release it or or um, so there is kind of some overlap. Uh, like the Backstreet Boys, "Don't Go Breaking My Heart," I wrote with Stuart Crichton and Jamie Hartman, um, and that was a kind of a day for me. And so we were writing, um, and I was very much writing kind of from my own point of view, and then we just kind of ended up with this thing that. I sat with and I was like, I don't know if this is mine. Um, and when the Backstreet Boys wanted to record that, I mean, you, I was like, yes, please, thank you, holy moly. Um, so, and then with other artists, like, my favorite thing is writing with the artists in the room because you get to have their perspective and their um, story and their heart and their head into it. So kind of my that's my favorite thing is to get to go in with an artist and like get into their world um and help express something that they haven't expressed before or tell a story that they haven't told before and, and stuff like that um and i haven't written solo in years i actually have just done it now in in this kind of quarantine um for the first time in in literal years uh i rely so much on on co-writing and collaboration um for better for worse uh i have lost i sometimes it feels like i've lost the ability to sit down and, and write a song which which i know is not true and i've tried to practice it so that i remember that but it's uh it can be difficult um and do you approach the two in different ways like co-writing and solo writing yeah i mean solo writing i will just sit here and try and try and try and try and try whereas co-writing you do feed off the energy of the room so much which is is so nice and i kind of you can't say no to the backstreet boys you know you can't at all um and they're the nicest sweetest guys it really was um to get to go in and and record with them and at one point on we did another song called chateau on the record and we got to do backgrounds like all around a mic and I felt like I was a Backstreet Boy and that was really fun. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna play a really old song uh, that I just put out. Um, that last one was Mean It. Uh, it came out a, a couple months ago with um, Cash Cash who are incredible. Um, and I wrote that. Uh, this one is Jupiter. I wrote, oh my gosh, nine years or something ago. Um, I always say I was drunk and straight when I wrote this, and I'm, I'm neither of those things now. Um, so this is called Jupiter. Ah. 
I know right where this is going Right back to the point Knowing nothing more than what we want But I don't think that I can go there again, again Cause there's a snow air on the planet where we were you and me could only be make believe in fantasy i know it's true but i i still want you and every time i think i Past you, I always end up coming back to where we were, where we could be. Yeah. But all I know is where we end when neither side can call it winning. But maybe this is where we leave our so you and me could only be make believe in fantasy. Yeah. Oh, it's true, but I, I still want you And we could only make it work on Jupiter Not on this earth I know it's true, but I, I still want you Oh, I Are we still freezing? I wonder. We got this, we got this. Are we still freezing? Keeps freezing. Still? Dang. Let me see. If I go here and go here. What? I tried to change but I don't think I did. Are we back? I think we're back. Hopefully. Oh, now my manager's texting me. <laughs> Hard to say with you. Oh yeah, it looks all laggy on here. Let's see, are we back now? Possibly. Uh, 
then stream setup. Helps to rewind 10 seconds. Okay, that's good to know. Oh, I just like opened a help. <laughs> um, off, on, off, on, off, on. Okay, I wonder if I should just X out and start again. Still not. I'll play a song and see. Tell me in here if it works. Um, that was called Jupiter. Uh, there's some questions. Let's see. What was the inspiration for this song? Were there any lines or section that you can recall being difficult to write or did it all come easily? And how do you manage writer's block? Oh boy. Um, The inspiration, that was actually, which is so wild, like the last song that I wrote about a girl, which was very weird. I wrote it with um, kind of my, my mentor, really, Eve Nelson. Um, she, I owe so much to her. Um, when I moved out here, I met her through like a friend of a friend of my mom. Um, and she had gone to Berkeley and I was at Berkeley College of Music and and I talked to her one night and and she's like, move to LA. And I was like, okay. Um, and so I did and uh, and we started writing and, and she's just so incredible. We wrote that song one night at, at her studio. And I, I don't really remember that much about the session because I was like walking around with like a fifth of vodka and a bottle of red wine, unfortunately, but um, but it, once we once we kind of had that idea, it it just kind of fell out of the sky. Uh, I guess pun not really intended because it's called Jupiter. Um, but writer's block is really hard. I mean, I guess kind of just going back to collaborating, I I, I really value collaborating so much because I can't really do it by myself all the time um and when you have those moments of just like a brick wall in front of you um somebody else might have a perspective or an idea um that can pull you out of that kind of it's bugging that's so weird let me try Let me try this one last thing. Is this any better? Can you can you hear me now? Um, this song is called "Hurts Like Hell." Um, I wrote this with. Where's your prince, Peter? He is asleep in his throne. Um, that's my teddy bear. Um, I wrote this song with Scott Harris, um, and we wrote it in like a studio that was like kind of in the middle of Times Square. I was chain smoking cigarettes in the fire escape and in like the stairwell, which is really gross. Um, but we wrote this song kind of just about that feeling of like first love and how it maybe really never totally goes away. Um, Video went out. Still, oh boy. Still. I'm 
I'm like tech support. I don't know if you guys have reset router. Well, that's gonna be back in action. So far, so good. Like when I move, I can see it. Yay! Sorry, y'all. I don't know what the deal is, but... That's like I remember one time I played a show at a college. A real-life show, and... We, um, couldn't make sound come out of anything. So the show got canceled, like as it was supposed to happen. Cause we were there for like four hours trying to make sound come out at sound check and nobody could figure out what was wrong. So sometimes things just happen. All right, it seems like we're back. Oh my God, hilarious. My manager's like, you can start another stream. I'm like, wait, I did. So we're here. Okay. A real life show. All right. This is called Hurts Like Hell. Out each 
trying to love somebody I'm out here all by myself And every time I think about you oh, It still hurts like hell And by now you're probably loving somebody Oh, y'all are so sweet. It's working now. All right, sweet. Um, let's see. Questions. What does your typical songwriting process look like? Do you tend to start songs in a similar way with a concept or melody or lyric first? And your songs reference a lot of numbers. Is that intentional? What significance do numbers have to you? Um... I have no idea what my typical songwriting process looks like. Usually it starts with like mumbling over some chords. Um, occasionally it starts with a concept. Um, those, I find it hard to come up with a concept that feels really good. Um, most of the times like when I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, oh my gosh, write that idea down. I read it in the morning and it says like, I miss you. And I'm like, that's not an idea. Um, so for me, kind of, I do a lot of like free association, just mumbling over chords or over a track or a beat or something like that. Um, and then sometimes a word just kind of falls out and then you're like, what's that? And you kind of try to find out what that is and, and find some meaning in that. Um, hi, um, Oh gosh, I do remember when the audio went out in Utah. That was actually like so intensely emotional. Um, and then numbers, I don't know. That was kind of an accident. And I think then I was like, well, that worked. Um, and there's just, I mean, I've always tried to write true stories. That's kind of, kind of all I know how to do. I'm not really good at like the... I've never been able to just write like now write the simplest like poppiest catchiest song that's not really my my wheelhouse I think um going into like true story is kind of my comfort zone and so that kind of just started with 11 blocks I guess with 10 feet tall really um and then there was 11 blocks and then 90 days so there is a lot of numbers um but I find so much meaning in in a number and and in just how tangible that feels and and um so i don't know i guess i've done that i've i've tried to steer clear of numbers sweaters jackets now once you do something enough times you're like no like swerve the car go the other way um but yeah i don't know i've always loved a number My favorite song to perform, I don't know. Some of my favorite performances ever were, were 90 Days with, with Pink on tour last year. Um, that, yeah, that was pretty awesome. 